If you want to continue to follow our adventure, click subscribe. So you don't miss anything, click the bell notification. I watched a video uh, the other day and this fella was interviewing different people at the uh, RTR. There was a group of young people and they were talking about how the lifestyle is great and wonderful and they've been doing it for several years and they had a YouTube channel and their mantra was, I don't know, something like adventure before dementia. It got me to thinking about an article that I had read. And when I, when I heard them say it, I thought, wait a minute, no, you're probably going to starve to death before you have dementia. Based on the article that I had read. It said that a lot of younger people who are doing this lifestyle, living in a van, are not as well financially set for their old age as their peers who have stayed in a house. And it went into all kinds of statistics and reasonings, and, and I'm going to try to cover as many as I can remember. You know, when you live in a van, you're, I've noticed just with my own life that your income level, no matter how hard you try, reduces. Uh, I still work relatively a lot of hours trying to make an income on the road. Now, I have a business. Uh, I do some programming and I have companies that contract me and I, I my, my job is to kind of wait until they have problems they call me up and I fix their problem and I get a monthly wage from them uh, whether I do any work or not so that was actually kind of a sweet deal but that's kind of the point of this article I read is over my lifetime I have been able to develop skills and I was able to network with enough people and companies and have an idea of what I need to do to help companies so I can be a programmer where I can sit around and get a paycheck and when they need help, I can help them. Whereas a couple living in a van in their 20s won't have that lifetime experience of gaining knowledge, whether accidental or on purpose, so when they get older, they have those skills they can fall back on. One of the things in the article that I remember very clearly was a 401k plan. It is unlikely that anybody living in a van is ever going to enroll in a 401k. And they said, you know, a lot of young people don't even realize what they're signing up for when they sign up for 401k. And I remember when I was 25 years old, I was just out of the military and you know i'm signing all these papers and they said do you want to you know sign up for the 401k the company matches you know you know whatever it was i don't remember and, and oh yeah that sounds like i really need that i'm going to need a good retirement i had no idea what i was signing up for when i was 25 years old so just by accident which is what they said in the article i signed up for something that was going to really benefit me when i get older their social security uh will have not contributed as much as the people their own age are contributing living in a stick and brick. So they're less likely to be secure in retirement on Social Security because they won't have contributed near as much. Their home itself is depreciating while the folks who have bought a house, yes, they're paying a mortgage more often than not, the house is going to go up in value, whereas a car and RV is always going to go down in value. You're never ever going to get as much out of the van as you put into the van. So you're losing a, a, a retirement benefit there. It says that folks that live in a van are less likely to join the military than people living in a house. They, they, they found nobody living in a van that had been in the military. Not saying there isn't, I'm just saying in their study. But they did find, you know, several, I don't know how many that was, that actually joined the military. Well, why is this important? Well, one, there's several reasons actually. Well, uh, one of them, you're developing skills that's going to help you develop in life. And I understand this. The military gave me a lot of skills that I was able to use throughout life. 
uh, I was a uh, you taught me about quality control uh, which is what I actually started my business I was a, uh, a quality consultant so I own my own business based on information that I learned in the military that other people aren't living in vans are not going to have an opportunity to, to learn and so over time I was I developed my business all based on this one little concept of quality control and so the other aspect of it is veteran benefits you know people who are in the military will get veteran benefits now I've never used veteran benefits and I probably never will but if you run into a hard situation and you need them you're gonna have them uh, whereas someone who is living in a van at a young age who's never joined the military won't ever have that opportunity uh, obviously there's the education aspect when I came out of the military I had no secondary education but as I progressed through life companies I worked for and my own company required me to, to obtain more and more education that I could use later in life which made my retirement asset higher than if I hadn't attained those that education again going back to my programming skills if I wanted to right now I could actually go and get more companies to work for I've got several that want me to to work for them but see that's what the nice thing is is I I've, I've got enough assets right now every month I put more money away into my savings and emergency fund so my my retirement fund is still growing and based on a huge foundation that I put in place before I started this lifestyle you may as a young person be doing your adventure before you get to dementia but it doesn't appear that your dementia life is going to be that comfortable based on this information that I read in this article when I was young I thought who cares about my my retirement well fortunately somebody did thanks for watching click like if you like the video and happy travels